Okay. Given the universal set x equal to negative 10 to 10, where negative 10 is part of the set and uh, 10 is part of the set, the subsets a equal to negative 2 to 3, where negative 2 is part of the set and 2 is not part of the set, and negative 2 to 2, where this negative 2 is part of the set based on the on the bracket that is give, uh, used and this one is open, which means that this is not part of the set and b is from negative 4 to 8, where this is not part of the set and 8 is not part of the set, that all the numbers between negative 4 and 8. C, we have 0 to 5, where 5 is part of the set, but 0 is not part of the set. So when you use this type of bracket, this means that the number that follows here is part of the, this is closed. This is part of the set, this is open, this is not part of the set. So in this case, this 10 is part of the set and this is also part of the set. So when you are showing this on the on the number line, when to display this on the number line, we're supposed to start by showing the universal set. The universal set is from negative 10 to, to 10, where both numbers are part of the set. So to show that, you do this, you say, okay, this is, of course, negative 10. Since it is part of the set, you shared it, so this is going to be negative 10. And the other one, which is 10, is also part of the set, you shared it. We have shown the universal set. After showing the universal set, we are looking for B complement. So if we are looking for B complement, we are supposed to write down B. So B is from negative 4, so it's a negative 4, it must be somewhere there, and 8, somewhere there. In this case, this is not part of the set, so you open it. It is not part of the set. You open it. This is also not part of the set. You open it. When you do that, you connect these two here. This is set set B. Now, want to find B complement? Since we are looking for B complement, want to we want the set of numbers that are not in B back in the universal. So, when you look at this one here, this side from negative 4 to negative 10, they're not in B, so they're in complement. So you say from this side to this one, even A, negative 10 is outside, that's why I'm including because it is outside complement. Then here, negative 4 is not in B, according to the way we, we, shared, we, we showed this one. Say that this is not part of the set, according to the bracket that is used, this is open. So it is not part of the set, it is not in B. Negative 4 is not in B, which means that negative 4 is outside B. So it is in the complement. You do that. Same applies to this side. You say that this is going to be from 8 to 10. Even 10 is not part of it. That's why I'm shading it, because it is not, it is not in, in B. It's outside. And then 8 is not in B, which means that it is outside, so you shade it outside. So this is B complement, and this one is B complement. So in this case, we're going to say that B complement is equal to, B complement is equal to from negative 10 to negative 4, where both numbers are part of the set. So this is going to be negative 10 to negative 4, where both numbers are part of the set. You show those, that type of bracket. Then union, including this side, which is from 8 to 10, where both numbers are part of the set. So we say this is part of the set. That's the way you show this information on, on, the, on the number line. So you can say that this is the solution. If you want to, we can, we can try to share it. We have shown this information. You have shown the uh, complement on the number line. That's the way you're supposed to do it.